วัสดีค่ะ Hi everyone. Today I would like to show you how to make Thai rice noodle crispy, or we call it mee grob. It is delicious snack. It's crunchy and tasty. And here is all the ingredients for the sauce. Thai sriracha sauce is a little bit sweeter and less spicy than the one we're familiar with. And garlic preserve look like this. And using angel hairs rice noodle. It's optional to use these three items as toppings. First, thin slice shallot, and tear k a f a l a m leaves in half. Fry shallot in medium low heat. When it's almost brown, add eggs. Scramble the eggs and break it into small pieces. Then add all the sauce ingredients to the pan. Cook the sauce until it gets really thick. It can take up about 15 to 20 minutes on low heat. Stir frequently to prevent from burning. When the sauce is getting thick, it's optional to add a couple drop of red fruit coloring to add some color to the noodle. After the color mix it in well. Remove the sauce from the heat and set aside. If you like to add toppings, you can fry them on the medium heat. On the very high heat, you can test it with the noodle first. Before adding small batch of noodles, it only takes second to fry them, and repeat the same step with the next batch to fry small amount of noodle each time will help it cook evenly. The noodles stack up pretty quickly, and it's a good idea to break down the noodle before mixing with the sauce. It's easier to manage and a lot less mess. The sauce can get really thick when it's cool, so it's a good idea to warm it on the low heat to make it melt a little bit, spreading it all out before adding noodles. It can take patience and times to get the noodle coated with the sauce evenly. A few tips for success: Keep the mixing pan on the low heat to make sure to get the sauce melted. It will be easier for the mixing, and it's always a good idea to start off with a small amount of sauce, since you can always add on to it later. Packing the noodle to the container when the noodle is still warm, it will be easier to handle and it won't break the noodles. Add toppings and seal with the lid. This can be crunchy for at least a few weeks. Making a big batch and share with friends and family, it looks beautiful and tastes delicious. It is one of my favorite snack. I hope you like and enjoy this video. I'll see you for the next one.